Hey guys, I'm back again and have a talk low again because once again it's late at night and I'm still awake, so bear with me on that. Um, Alright, today I want to talk about things that people say that I just find infuri infuriating. Can't say that word. You can eat whatever you want for breakfast, okay? There's no rules that people actually have to follow. I know the standard American diet and probably the European diet is, hey, let's have cereal and then for lunch we'll have a sandwich and for dinner we'll have pasta. So then you end up having pasta for breakfast and you hear, pasta for breakfast? What do you mean? You had pasta for breakfast? And back when I was eating the you know, cheese and everything, pizza? You had pizza for breakfast? It's like, shut the hell up. You know, like, it, there is no rules and it's like this came up again because I went to bed at 8.30 this morning, uh, well yesterday morning, and again it was like, to bed at 8.30? Yeah, douche. I was up all night long. It's just how I roll. I, I'm just sleeping those hours. And so what people don't seem to understand is that there is no rule for when you're supposed to sleep. There is no rule for what you're supposed to eat. There is no set dinner time, lunch time, breakfast time. When you're hungry, eat. And that just always, you know, bothers me when people are just saying stuff like that. Like, oh, four o'clock in the morning, you haven't been to bed yet? As if it's some atrocity, like a nuclear weapon's about to go off and all of humanity's gonna be destroyed because Brian wasn't freaking in bed sleeping when he was supposed to be sleeping according to the standards of society. And uh, it just, it gets to me, and this is the whole 2012 thing now, um, coming up with me, I'm, everyone's like, oh, Brian's so nice, Brian, you know, it's because I'm catering and uh, I told you in the last video I wasn't gonna cater anymore. I'm not that nice if you're full of bullshit. And if you're full of bullshit, I'm going to call you on it or delete you, block you, get you off my Facebook page. It's, I don't want to deal with it. And um, it, it's just funny because, you know, <clears throat> for example, I'm a Ron Paul supporter. And the mainstream media has been cranking out hardcore. Oh, Ron Paul's a white supremacist. Ron Paul hates gays. Ron Paul hates blacks. Ron Paul hates this and that. I'm gay. I'm telling you right now, Ron Paul doesn't hate gays. He doesn't hate blacks. He's not a white supremacist. But here's the thing. I don't care who you support. That is your business. I say who I do, and if you say who you do, perfectly fine with me. But people feel this tremendous need for when I say, I support this person because. They're just like, oh, type, 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 you know, like you're going to change my mind. I don't care what you think. I really deep down don't because I'm going to do me. I'm going to do my own thing anyway. And if you like Obama, that's great. Uh, my boyfriend, he voted for Obama in the last election. This time he's not going to be voting for Obama. Um, I did not vote for Obama in the last election. I voted for Ron Paul in the primaries. I had registered as a Republican to do so because I knew without doing that I couldn't, you know, do the primary thing. And when he didn't get a nomination, which he probably won't even get this time, but I don't care, I voted for Cynthia McKenney, uh, who was a black woman. But what's interesting to me is people say, Brian, you're a racist. You're a racist because you didn't vote for Obama. It's like, yeah, okay, tell that to the black woman I voted for. Tell that to Dehudi Matra, who I listen to online all the time, or Queen Afua, whose books I buy all the time on her natural health stuff. So I find that a lot of people are brainwashed by a lot of bullshit that's coming out of the television screen, which is another reason why I got rid of my cable, and today I finally turned it off. Um, Thankfully, it takes away $1,200 that I'd be paying every single year for cable. And let's face it, you guys who still like cable, you're watching it, but there's like 300, 400 stations, and sometimes you're bored, you're flipping through everything, and out of all 400 stations, there's nothing freaking on for you to watch anyway. But you're paying the cash. And you have the internet at your fingertips. And my phone is through the internet. I have a cell phone, but it's basic. I don't text or anything like that. I just live without doing it because I know about five, six years ago, I was like, oh, text, text, text. And the funny thing is, I was one of the first people who was texting. When I lived in Atlanta in 2001, uh, AOL came out with something called AOL Instant Messenger um, through their mobile device. So it was the mobile messenger. And I was paying $19.95 a month. And I used to sit in bars, like just talking to people who were on AOL or who were on Yahoo. And people were like, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm just talking to my friends. And that was a really good way for me to, you know, when you're sitting there and there's not a whole lot of people and you don't want certain people talking to you in bars, it was a great way for me to distract myself. Um, but yeah, so now it's like mainstream. I don't even do it anymore. And people are like, text me, Brian, text me. 
well, why? And they say it to me when I'm on Instant Messenger with them. It's like, oh, text me. I'm right here. I'm not gonna text freaking telephone numbers in to talk to you. It's it's stupid, and I'm not needed to be that readily available. I'm not gonna pay out however much a month it costs. I know some of the cheaper plans are like you know 25 through like Virgin Mobile, but other people are paying like 90 dollars a month for what? So you can sit there and text some idiot who's not gonna enrich your life at, at any point, and it's just stupid. It's just it's stupid. Um, but yeah, it's just uh, funny to me how people are going to sit there and lecture me. And the other thing is, too, is since I've started the whole vegan thing, you know, and he may watch this, and I don't even care anymore if he does, but, like, this 300-pound nurse who talks to me sometimes is like, well, just be careful. Make sure you get your protein. Are you kidding me? Like, you're really, really fat. And this is not against anyone who I watch who's overweight. And there's several, several people who are that I am in contact with, but it's not the same thing, and I'll explain that in a minute. And he's sitting there, like, you know, concerned that I'm not going to get enough protein. Dude, you're fat, and you're not healthy, and you're killing yourself, and your health is probably just as shitty as mine is anyway, but at the same time, at least I recognize it, and mine's manifested in a whole different way than yours, but I, I just don't understand that whole thing, how that got into the psyche of Americans. Americans who don't understand how Tylenol works or how aspirin works or all the side effects of these drugs, they don't understand any of that, but they all of a sudden, well, I'm not going to eat meat. What about your protein? It's like, really? No. And everything. But what I want to go back to before I forget is um, <clears throat> the people who are overweight that I watch, no worse off than me because I have had major bad habits in my life. And the difference between you and someone who's saying stuff like that is you're trying. And I watch your videos, and you all know who you are. There's a couple, so you might think, oh, he's talking about me. I probably am, if I'm subscribed to you. You're all trying to lose weight, and you may not have picked my particular way of eating, and that's fine. But you're out there exercising. You're out there trying the vegan diet. You're, you know, out there trying all different things. You're getting books. You're getting videos. You might have started exercising. That's a whole different story than someone sitting on their ass lecturing me about what I'm doing in my life. And so that's all I really got to say. I mean, I'm just ranting right now. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I did want to say, except for that I'm not going to sit here and just cater to stupidity anymore. If you say shit on my Facebook that's ignorant, and you lash out at me, I'm going to delete you. I mean, there's so many people who put up posts on their Facebook saying, oh, you know, I support Obama, and I support, you know, Mitt Romney, or Rick Perry, or Michelle Bachman, or, you know, whoever. I see it. I do not feel a need to tell you why you're wrong. Do not feel the need to tell me why I'm wrong. That is your business. Stay the hell off my page lecturing me about what I somehow just don't understand. Poor Brian just doesn't understand. No, poor Brian gets it. He knows where you are. I've probably been there. I'm in a whole different location now. Am I 100% right? Probably not. Is anyone 100% right? No. But it's where I am. It's what I'm doing. So if you don't like the fact that I'm vegan, if you don't like the fact that I'm going raw, if you don't like the fact that I'm not going to be running to doctors all the time, if you don't like the fact that I like Ron Paul, if you don't like all this stuff, you know, well, screw yourself. I do not care. So this is going to be my one and only video venting on this stuff. And then if someone later is just like, oh, why did Brian delete me? Well, if you watch me, then you tell them why Brian deleted them. Because I'm not going to play your game anymore. And there's people from my past, and I'm still catering towards them. It's like people I used to live with or were good friends with at one time. And they're all like, oh, well, I just don't understand why you're doing this. And just blah, 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 blah. And I don't delete them because it's kind of like, well, I have a past with them. But I think about it all the time. And now it's like, you know what? I'm just going to delete them the next time I do this. I don't need this kind of crap in my life. Support me. I don't care if next year I'm eating nothing but meat. You, If you like me, you better support me. There's people I watch all the time, all the time online who I don't necessarily agree with, but they're great, great people. And because of that, they can go through hard times, good times, things I don't agree with, things that I do agree with. 
I can be respectful and I can watch it and be silent when I need to be silent and be vocal when it's asked for me to be vocal. This is not some democracy where we're all going to sit here and debate everything back and forth as my friend Crystal said because I just popped in my head of what she said, but the thing is I'm not going to debate with you. My life is not up for debate. My life is not up for you to sit there and say, oh, I think you should sleep this way. I think you should eat this way. You know what? You guys don't know what the hell I go through anyway, so I don't care. <laughs> you know, I can support you and your illnesses if you support me, but do not make judgment calls on what I'm doing with myself. And if you don't like me because of the fact that I will call you on your shit when you attack me, then I'm not for you. And 2012 will be a, a real bitch for you to watch me because I'm going to speak my mind. I'm going to say what I want to say. I'm tired of holding back on things. Um, you know, there's one thing is too, oh, Brian, don't you trust the American government? No. Hell fucking no. I don't trust the American government. I don't trust any government, any person in my mind who trusts their own government or any other government is a fool. We're not the ones sitting here. Oh, we're heroes. We don't do anything wrong. No, we do a lot of things wrong. We have caused things to happen in this world. We have attacked certain people in this world. We have killed innocent civilians. That's not to say some other country hasn't because we know they have. But I guarantee you something right now. We're gearing up for stuff in Iran, okay? We're gonna go after Iran. And right now, there's families. Fuck the whole government thing. There's families in Iran right now who are raising children. There's a wife cooking dinner. There's people struggling to put food on the table. Their kids are in school. It's not some desert wonderland where people <clears throat> are walking around in the middle of nowhere. There's cities. There's shopping malls. They buy Prada too. Surprise. They have the same name brands we do. And I'm not going to sit here and say those people over there are doing something to hurt me. No. My government and their government together are fighting has nothing to do with those civilians whatsoever. It has nothing to do with what I do with my day-to-day -day life. Just like if the Russians started or the Chinese started hating Americans, what the hell does that have to do with me? Get your head out of your ass and start thinking. These are people. We are people. Don't judge me. I won't judge you. You judge me, I'm going to judge you. And you're going to be deleted because I'm tired of dealing with bullshit. Hey guys, I'm back again and have to talk low again because once again it's late at night and I'm still awake, so bear with me on that. Um, all right, today I want to talk about things that people say that I just find infuri infuriating. Can't say that word. You can eat whatever you want for breakfast, okay? There's no rules that people actually have to follow. I know the standard American diet and probably the European diet is full of bullshit. And if you're full of bullshit, I'm going to call you on it or delete you, block you, get you off my Facebook page. It's, I don't want to deal with it. And um, it's just funny because, you know, <clears throat> for example, I'm a Ron Paul supporter. And the mainstream media has been cranking out hardcore. Oh, Ron Paul's a white supremacist. Ron Paul hates gays. Ron Paul hates blacks. Ron Paul hates this and that. I'm gay. I'm telling you right now, Ron Paul doesn't hate gays. He doesn't hate blacks. He's not a white supremacist. It is hey let's have cereal and then for lunch we'll have a sandwich and for dinner we'll have pasta. So then you end up having pasta for breakfast and you hear, pasta for breakfast? What do you mean? You have pasta for breakfast? And back when I was eating the you know, cheese and everything, pizza? You had pizza for breakfast? It's like, shut the hell up. You know, like it, there is no rules. And it's like, this came up again because I went to bed at 8.30 this morning. Uh, well, yesterday morning. And I bed yet? As if it's some atrocity, like the nuclear weapon's about to go off and all of humanity is going to be destroyed because Brian wasn't freaking in bed sleeping when he was supposed to be sleeping according to the standards of society. And uh, it just, it gets to me, and this is the whole 2012 thing now um, coming up with me. I'm, everyone's like, oh, Brian's so nice. Brian, you know, it's because I'm catering and I told you in the last video I wasn't going to cater anymore. I'm not that nice. If you're, again, it was like, to bed at 8.30? Yeah, douche. I was up all night long. It's just how I roll. I, I'm just sleeping those hours. And so what people don't seem to understand is that there is no rule for when you're supposed to sleep. There is no rule for what you're supposed to eat. There is no set dinner time, lunch time, breakfast time. When you're hungry, eat. And that just always, you know, bothers me when people are just saying stuff like that. Like, oh, four o'clock in the morning, you haven't 